Nigeria's healthcare sector has reported substantial progress in the implementation of the Basic Healthcare Provision Fund. The Coordinating Minister of Health and Social Welfare, Muhammad Ali Pati, speaking at the 8th Ministerial Oversight Committee meeting, Minister Pati highlighted the advancements made under the broader sector-wide program unveiled by the President in December 2023 with the Basic Healthcare Provision Fund being a crucial component. The minister noted that the digital health initiative of the ministry has been instrumental in tracking financial flows to primary health care centers and empowering frontline health workers. He also announced the remarkable achievement of the training 120,000 frontline health workers with 40,000 already retrained as part of the president's initiative. And basic health care provision fund is one element within that. And we're seeing the execution proceeding and the governance of it also improving collectively between the federal government, states, local government, development partners, civil society, and the private sector coming together to discuss issues, discuss funding flows, discuss uh, issues of accountability around the resources to ensure they go to the front lines. So we're making progress in improving the governance of the health sector, which will translate in improving population health outcomes. The digital uh, health uh, initiative of the ministry is an enabler, it's cross-cutting, and uh, there's an element, for instance, when it comes to tracking financial flows uh, to the states, to primary health care centers, that will be that. Uh, there are also other elements that will include uh, the frontline health workers being enabled to do what they need to do. As you have heard, the training of healthcare workers, the integrated healthcare workers training is underway. We had announced that we retrain 120,000 frontline health workers as part of the president's initiative. 40,000 have already been retrained in uh, states and more will be trained going forward. Uh, so uh, this is uh, really very good news. And I believe that uh, the president's leadership, even on the continent, as the African Union champion on human resources for health and community health delivery, is being backed by action that is being taken place uh, by the federal government here in Nigeria. So I think we are, um, these are difficult um, uh, things that we are grappling with in a very complex sector, but we are making progress to improve the population health outcomes for all Nigerians. Addressing the issue of health care access and affordability, the minister highlighted the Vulnerable Growth Fund, which has added 2.4 million additional enrollers enrollees, I beg your pardon, over the past year, enabling them to access essential health care services. Uh, I think the basic, if you look at the Vulnerable Growth Fund, 2.4 million uh, additional enrollees have been included in the Vulnerable Growth Fund over the last one year, which means they are able to afford health care. And through that, we also know that there are resources to support the comprehensive emergency of social care to ensure affordability, particularly for the poor and vulnerable populations. And some states are doing well, a state like Anambra, some are lagging, but it's a journey. And we are on that journey together uh, with the federal government working with states and others. So I believe that over time, our objective to crush maternal mortality, improve child health outcomes in Nigeria will come uh, to reality. We have trained uh, frontline health workers and we're training even more of them who are there to serve Nigerians. And with that, uh, we believe that uh, the services available to our population will improve. Looking at the discussions here around governance, around, um, you know, saving life, uh, you know, reducing pain uh, and suffering and um, fueling, uh, spearheading health care industrialization and health security, uh, it's, it's really you know, quite an ambitious program, but it's at the same time what we need to do, what we need to go through if we have to change the course of health uh, in Nigeria. So uh, WHO, um, we have been at the center of um, uh, all this policy dialogue, and we are happy to see that uh, we are taking the next step toward the realization of uh, what is expected for primary health care. The Ministerial Oversight Committee meeting provided a platform for stakeholders to discuss the ongoing implementation of the BHCPF and explore ways to further strengthen the program's impact on the health and well-being of Nigerians.